my name is Rapso Daily, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're going to be playing the Daily Challenge for March the 13th of 2006. We are going to be playing the character, the Silent Specialized. Start with five copies of a single card, as well as diverse. Cards are not restricted by your character, and Lethality. You start each combat with plus three strength, and so do your enemies. Lethality kind of enforces... Oh, NL did kill Connor. Anyway, uh, Lethality does enforce that you kind of have to end your fights relatively quickly, because it's very, very difficult to just defend against the incoming damage. Well, maybe it's not. <laughs> Wild. Uh, so we're going to want all of those upgraded as soon as possible. They're also going to be really, really, really effective against the elites of this floor. Save one. Uh, hang on. So I'm looking for a mix of the most upgrades I can get as well as the most elites. So I'll take this path. Sweet. 14 damage prevention right there. Since this enemy never multi-attacks, I'm more than happy to just flow to buffer at all times. Yeah, I could have defended that turn, but it didn't matter. The enemy was still breaking my buffer. Sword Boomerang! That is huge! That's a multi-hit. A really good multi-hit. We start cutting defense from this deck because they're actually... So, defend is good if you are going to be playing defends. But the thing is, if I have a buffer up and then I defend and it's not for all of the damage the enemy is about to deal, then the buffer still gets triggered and the defend did nothing. So they'll be cut from the deck first. Offering a buffer here does get me 10 max HP. I'm not going to be able to upgrade all of them. Gets me 10 max HP. As well as a full heal. I mean, come on. Difficult to turn that one down. Cleave. Huge AoE. Two more buffers left in the deck. We should be okay. Or we could just kill. Don't think I take an Iron Wave here. Mainly just going to be looking for multi-attack cards. Play the buff. No, I'll play buffer next turn. I've only got very few attacks left in the deck now, so... Yeah, exactly. Buffer is now the right play. And I've got, even got one next turn. Beautiful. Sweet. I have to triple defend this turn if I want to not die. I want to not lose any HP. Sweet. Handled that perfectly. Singing Ball. When adding cards to your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. Infinite Blades is actually really good. That's seven damage a turn for us right now. We'll actually be taking that one. Could have done 9 damage there, or 7 damage every single turn for the rest of the fight. I mean, I don't know which one you'd go for. All of these buffers are the natural first upgrades in this deck. There's nothing that can even compete. Max HP. Buffer number 1. The Courier, the merchant restocks cards, relics, and potions, and all prices decrease by 20%. Ideally here, we want to stack as many buffers as possible before the enemy wakes up. And then we want to wake up the enemy this turn. Sweet. Oh, that's a ridiculous amount of damage. Again, single defend doesn't matter. Just still lose a stack of buffer. This is really like an interesting way to play the game. Bag of marbles at the start of each combat apply one vulnerable to all enemies as well as dagger spray. That's huge, huge AOE because it double hits. 20 damage AOE first turn. Skewer? Yeah. Huge single target damage. Because the enemy is vulnerable this turn, we're not going to be in this fight for them many turns. I think I actually go with the attack there rather than the uh, infinite blades. Sweet. 
Nope. Not going to be poisoning the enemies, so Bane isn't going to be a multi-hit, which makes it less valuable than all of the other options there. We can have a lot of difficulty against the... I'll take the damage here, actually. It's probably better. But we can have a lot of difficulty against the... Hexaghost in terms of perfecting it. Ultimately, I just don't think that we can. Because of this. That's a lot of damage. Just a hell of a lot of damage. The buffer actually gets hit by the burn here, so I don't even play it this turn. We could end up dying in this combat. Like, despite everything, this could be the combat that takes us. Looking okay right now. Sweet. Hex goes down. Last knife. <clears throat> Huge amount of damage. Mm, Sneko Eye. I mean, that's a lot of buffers. And we have an Exegos card. We take it. Drawing two extra cards per turn is also huge. A lot of two cost buffers. will help us get those out. Looking for as many elites as I possibly can get this floor. There's three, but that's a path that only has one rest. Relatively early though, so I'm comfortable with it. There's so many buffers left in the deck. I feel like I go aggressive this turn instead. Especially because we could actually just straight up get lethal this turn. Depending on the draw. Knife was just short. 30. Sweet. Uh, pre upgraded armaments? I mean, we do draw it into a hand of five, a uh, hand of seven. Uh, take it. Holtz, uh, a little bit. Wrongly. Wow. I'm always happy when I bet wrong because it ends up with the better result for the sake of the story there. Um,. Obviously not happy in general about it, though. Sweet. Skewer is huge here, actually. Ghost in jar, as well as Shockwave, would be randomized in cost. Makes it much more playable. Yeah, Blood for Blood would be randomizing cost, but that doesn't make it good. Hmm. We're not going to want curses in this deck is the thing. Maybe I go hand drill, Ancient T-Set removal. Ancient T-Set is actually really good for us. Tiny chest? Yeah, let's take the tiny chest as well. Neat, and it gives us Art of War. Sweet, that's exactly what I was hoping for, that we'd get another relic, uh, another common relic in specific, so that we would have enough money in order to actually buy it. Great pickups there, actually. No damage this turn. Not even weakened, so. A lot of incoming damage there. An energy relic would be really good. Just be nice to have, you know?
And we should be settled here. Just all out for the damage. Nice attempt. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. Pre upgraded uppercut is pretty uh, pretty powerful, rather. Pretty impowerful. Skewer, glass knife, both of those want upgrades. Skewer is a better upgrade for us value wise right now, just because it's not going to be bad in any hand. It has its just full value in every hand that we draw it into. I mean, right now, it is just short of two, uh, 200. Just short of 100 damage. Big attack? Nope. That's unfortunate. The big attack would have been so good for us. Oh, well. We're still perfect in this fight. And that's lethal. Sweet. Uh, Whetstone upon pick up upgrade to attacks, as well as no. Ah, uh, reinforced body actually could be useful. Another X cost, so it's not randomized by the Sneko in particular, and also it gives me an extra energy next turn if I use it the entire turn. Yeah, we'll take an Art of War. Art of War, sorry, because of the Art of War, we'll take a reinforced body. I was really hoping for AOE descent. Come on, AoE for this one. Reinforced Body lets me keep both of my stacks. Oh my gosh. Huge. Seven turns worth of attacking from the enemy. We'll still be fine. Ginger, you can no longer become weakened. Huge. Uh, let's lose a fire potion, right? Because we've got another question mark up here. Pair? More max HP? Okay, we are going to have the benefit for ridiculous max HP. Always a fan of that. I'll use the Ghost in a Jar this turn to become intangible and defend myself a full. That's third, uh, six, just short of 60 damage for target. I mean, that kills this. There's no reason to waste all of that damage on the backline of the frontliner is about to try and weaken me, and they're about to find out the hard way that that don't work. I don't know what I would have considered the easy way to find that out, but definitely not that. Sweet, easy kill. Ornamental fan, every time we play three attacks in single turn, game four block. Sure, we relatively commonly do that. Already have enough weaken in the deck. I don't need a copy of uh, Clothesline, especially if it's unupgraded. There's a couple AoE cards in the deck, so we should be able to kill the frontliner with those. Neat. That'll get that done. Buffer is unfortunately still essential here. Enemy's doing a multi attack. Okay. Let's get another buffer. Oh, never mind. Don't need no buffer when you got kill. Storm would have given me a lot of lightning over the course of the run, sure, but that pales in comparison to the effect of our other cards. So this only blocks 10 this turn. This blocks 7 per point of energy, right? We always play that to discard the cleave. Multi-attacks go at the very end. There's no way I'm killing the enemy this turn. Okay, yes, yeah, so we go normal attack, normal attack, multi-attack... Buffer reinforced body or just reinforced body? Reinforced body hits us for 21. We actually full defend. Neat. Normal attack. Normal attack. Multi attack. Got him. 
Uh oh. None of those, thank you. If we didn't have the randomized, we would have taken anger there, but we do have the randomized, so we won't take anger there. Savvy? Rather take no damage this turn, so. Double the buffer. Okay. I can't be weakened, so the frontliner is actually not like a priority kill. Not that it otherwise would be, but I don't know, it would be considered at least. wasn't playable there. Oh, it was! Rhapsody. What are you doing? I'm not going to attack this turn. Uh, by not attacking, the Art of War is triggered a little bit more, and that means that... Yeah. Skewer is going to be enough for our kill. If Skewer wasn't, then the strike was going to be, so... Blood Vial at the start of each combat, heal for 2 HP, as well as... Oh, steal. Discard your entire hand, add one shift to your hand for each card discarded. I mean, that's just a lot of damage for us. Get them upgraded, so that's three more damage. So it's ten for every other card in our hand. It's effectively like a, like a reusable copy of... Let's name that card again. You know the one. The card! Theme fire. Again, we'll be taking damage in this combat. I mean, I could double buffer this turn. I could double buffer, not shiv, get extra energy for. The yeah, I'm doing that. <sighs> Give me an extra energy for this turn, thank you. Most of the effectiveness of my buffers, unfortunately. Here's a giant debuff. At the very least, I'm not weakened. And the enemy is now doing solo giant attack. Oh, they're not even doing the solo giant attack. You lame one. It's only boss fights that really pose like a risk to us right now. Well, Torch Head's immediately down, puts us in a really good position. And hell, we're actually going to get through this one without taking damage. Unfortunately, we did not perfect the first floor boss, so it's not like we're getting beyond perfect. No. Well, actually, bullet time, yeah, it's just free play my whole hand. Extra energy is really good here, though. We don't rest. Yeah, we don't rest with this deck. We don't. We don't really need to. We take very, very, very little damage. Like, when we take damage, we take all damage at the same time. So we basically just go from 100 to 0 instantly. Sweet. Good opening hand right now. I put a shop on my own path anyway, so I know what I'm worth. Just short of 60, right? So I can kill the backliner. And then I'll target the one that is defending this turn. 
so that they're on relatively equal HP values. This saves us a stack of buffer as well as gets us our extra energy for the next turn from the Yard of War. Yeah, we should have lethal this turn, pretty much regardless. Uh, nope. None of that. Thank you. Double up a card in the deck. I mean, there are a lot of cards in this deck that are worth doubling up, but it might actually just be secure. Uh, we have no curses in the deck yet, unfortunately. I would, I would be super into going for a Dubu Doll Bill Hilda. Do Dubu Doll Bill Hilda. Um, dramatic Entrance would have its cost randomized by Sneko, so I don't want that. If the deck was thicker, I'd put another bullet time in here. I think I do want to remove a defend. Do I have another shop on this line? No. So I should spend all of my money here. I don't have a guaranteed shop at the very least. Where's my boss? Time Eater. Yeah, I need singularly very powerful uh, aggressive cards, so that that's skill. It actually might just be another buffer. Because the enemy actually does have multi-attack as well. I think it's another buffer. I know I cut a buffer from the deck, but... It doesn't mean it's wrong to add one here. It just means that it was wrong to remove the first one. Well, actually, maybe it wasn't. I couldn't have known whether or not I was going to go well in terms of my HP past that point, so. You don't want to measure yourself by hindsight. It's just a great way to be very, very sad about every decision you ever make. And get paralyzed with indecision as well. Trust me. Uh, skill defend. I mean, the defend again, not worth anything, but still. Sweet. We have difficulty with enemies with high HP pools, but hopefully we can push through. Just have a couple really good skill turns. Cloak and Dagger would actually be really, really, really good if I didn't have a Snacker, but I do. Um, I'll drop Swift Potion in order to take the Liquid Bronze here because the enemy at the end of this floor does do a bunch of multi-attacking. So that's totally viable as an option. Upgrade the buffer. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh, that one, and then I accept damage this turn. And just shiv you for a bunch. Neat. No incoming damage this turn, though. Sweet. And then smallest to largest attack. Got to make sure that I take as much advantage of the slow as possible. Again, percentage-based, so you do want to do smallest attack to largest attack. Thank you for all of this ridiculous amount of buffer. We should just be able to kind of knock them over now, right? By Giant Head and Hello Regal Pillow, whenever you rest heal in addition to 15 HP. We don't actually gain much blocks, so that's useless. Uh, we only have three strength in the deck, so Heavy Blade, even upgraded, right, 315, so it's 29? That's actually not that good compared to other, other cards. We want multi attack, so we don't want Heavy Blade. If we had more strength or the ability to get more strength, then maybe, but we don't, so we don't.
There's no ordering consideration here, is there? No, the enemies are already vulnerable. Although the ordering consideration was do the randomized attack first. There was actually an ordering consideration as I figured it out halfway through the turn. Uh, the consideration was do the randomized attack first and then target whoever was hit primarily with the randomized attack. Nunchku, every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy as well as... Dex potion is actually probably garbage for us, right? Another reinforced body. I mean, two reinforced bodies in the deck and Dex Potion is suddenly not garbage. Back in preparation. At the start of combat, draw two additional cards. Woo! Our opening hand is actually over full now. <clears throat> Excuse me. That actually hurt my throat. Uh, let's upgrade the Shockwave. Get extra turns of weak and vulnerability here. Yeah. Fights with multi-attacks or bunches of enemies are the worst for me. Thankfully, this one looks like it will be absolutely excellent. Oh. Absolute trooper of a turn right there. Another infinite blades. Yeah. I need damage from it. Duplicate a card in the deck. Well, now do I go for another buffer or do I go for a bullet time? Storm of Steel is actually going to be really bad in the final boss fight, so I don't want that. It's another buffer. Single target, remove you. Sweet. My buffer is actually going to be really bad, really bad against the spiker. So I'm going to look for a very, very, very like overpowerful turn before I do anything now. Sweep, huge. Absolutely huge for us. Again, no ordering consideration to be made here. Ice cream would actually be really, really good for this deck. This is quite a pace. I can go for the damage there. Just as long as I kill this turn. And I do. Ghost in a jar. Gain one intangible. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. And the final smith is awarded to probably one of the reinforced bodies here. Yeah, it should be. Alright. Drink that dex potion. Get those thorns. Can I play 12 cards this turn? Play both of the infinite blades. Play Storm of Steel. So then I'll have seven cards. Seven... No, that's not all of them. Damn. See, if I play Storm of Steel now, I get to play eight more cards this turn, which is just a really bad amount. So I'll neglect to play anymore. I don't want to fill the deck with shivs. I even defend this turn? Not really. Okay, this is our Ghost in a Jar turn. We get to save two charges of buffer with it. Can I play six more cards this turn? No. I'll play both of the shivs and then leave it at that. I need to be able to play a normal amount of cards a turn, so I need to leave myself with the ability to play four cards next turn. 
One, two. Well, the defend actually doesn't matter here, does it? Because if I defend and then double attack, the enemy gets more strength. They attack me back. Well, actually, they're weakened at the moment down from 10, right? So they'd go up to... Uh, they'd go up to 12, and then the weakened from that takes them down to 8. Yeah, so the defend doesn't matter this turn. We just double strike. Oh! Bullet time, get all of the buffers out in the field. That is a huge turn for us. Although, admittedly, ideally, we had like a giant skewer go off that turn or something. Sweet. Only cost one buffer to get through that turn. I mean, the enemy is already weakened, so leg sweep is like not that great for us here. That said, we still do it because it does protect us against two. Enemy purges this turn. Absolute best that I could have done that turn. Still had to play five cards that turn regardless, so I don't really care that it didn't go my way. That's 36 already. I'll leave myself with six cards. Oh man, if we could have perfected the first boss, it actually looks like we could have perfected the whole fight. Oh, that would have been so good! As in the whole run, we could have gotten beyond perfect. Again, we're still not really competing for score here. But if I could pick it up, I'll still try. All right, so 1076, yeah, not that great. So beyond perfect would have been another 100. Um, other than that, I mean, a couple more copies of Collector we could have picked up there. That's about it, though. Hmm. Yeah, it went okay. I'm going to guess, like, a couple hundred. No, 33rd. Oh, neat. Yeah, oh, okay. So it's, it's like, oh, it's actually really competitive for the first couple spaces. And a lot of people landed on the same result as me. I'm at the very bottom. So not only am I 33rd, but I'm also 24th, right? I'm equal. Neat. Not a bad run right there. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slayer Maya. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content of the game past, present, and future. I don't say this often, but if you do like the videos, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and want to see more content like this, then maybe consider doing so. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.